Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods and in the last lecture we have discussed uh, numerical integration. In the numerical integration we have started about uh, this uh, rectangular rule that how we can just implement to find this integration for a particular function. Even if this uh, function is not known to us, but the tabular values like functional values at uh, different points if it is known to us, then we can evaluate this integration by using this nodal or tabular values. So, this class we will just go for uh, this uh, some of these uh, higher uh, order uh, integration methods. So, first we will discuss about this quadrature formula here, then we will just go for uh, two point formula that is trapezoidal rule, then uh, we will just go for this geometrical interpretation of uh, this uh, trapezoidal rule here and uh, we will just uh, go for uh, error estimation in a trapezoidal rule. Then for uh, composite formula of uh, trapezoidal rule, if the point is like in each of the intervals, if you will just use two points, then the total interval if you will just use this formula, then basically that is called uh, composite trapezoidal rule and uh, how we can just obtain the formula that I will just uh, discuss in this lecture. So, first uh, if you will just go for this quadrature formula here, usually this integral is approximated by a linear combination of uh, this functional values of f of x at the uh, tabular points. This means that integration a to b f of x into dx, it can be expressed in the form of summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k here. Since already it is a known that always we will have this set of tabular values that is in the form of like a x0, f of x0, x1, f of x1 up to xn, f of xn here. So, if the set of tabular values is known to us, then we can just implement this quadrature formula basically to evaluate this integration by using this uh, tabular values here. So, especially if you just uh, expand this formula here, that is the linear combination of uh, this functional values at different tabular points, then we can just write this one as lambda 0 f of x 0 plus lambda 1 f of x 1 plus of 2 lambda n f of x n here. These tabulated points x case are called abscissas and f of x case are called coordinates here or ordinates we can just say and lambda case are called weights for this function here or this integration here and this complete expression it is called quadrature formula. And uh, if we will just go for this error computation of uh, this quadrature formula here, usually this error formula R n of f can be written as integration a to b f of x dx minus summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k here. So, if we want to evaluate this error, always we have to subtract both these terms since especially directly we can just write this is not exactly equals to this is a, a, a approximation of this term here and we can just write this plus Rn of f as the total expression for this complete integration formula here. Then we can just write Rn of x or Rn of f this equals to integration of a to b f of x dx minus summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k. Obviously, sometimes we are just approximating this formula like certain order of form here, order of a method we can just define. Suppose this function is exact, suppose some of this order of the polynomial here, then we can just say that an integration method of the form like we have just expressed a to b f of x this equals to summation of k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k plus r n f here. This can be of order p if r n equal r n of f equals to 0 for all polynomials of degree less than or equal to p here. This means that it produces exact results for all polynomials that is in the form of f of x equals to 1 x x square up to x to the power p. This means we can just say that Rn of x to the power 
m this equals to integration a to b x to the power m dx minus summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k x k to the power m this equals to 0 for m equals to 0 1 2 of 2 p here. So, then we can just say that this integration method is said to be of order p here exactly if you just put here like 1 x x square of 2 x to the power p exactly this value will just give you the 0 value there. So, that is why it is said to be of order p here and if you just uh, try to find out this error term here if immediate next term if you just consider then that will just provide the error term here. So, obviously we can just write the error term for f of x p here f of x equals to x to the power p plus 1 this means that the error term for f of x is defined as we can just write c equals to integration a to b we can just write omega x x to the power p plus 1 minus summation k equals to 0 to n x k to the power p plus 1 lambda k here where c is called error constant and omega x especially always it is chosen as a 1 this is called weight factor here. So, that is why this formula can be written also directly as integration a to b x to the power p plus 1 minus k summation k equals to 0 to n x k to the power p plus 1 lambda k here also. And if we will just uh, calculate this uh, total error term here. So, if you will just use this integration formula directly we can just write that one as R n of f this equals to integration or since we have already calculated the difference of this one this can be written as c by p plus 1 factorial f to the power p plus 1 zeta here where zeta should be lies between a and b here. or you can just write R n of f equals to integration a to b f of x dx minus summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k x to the power x k to the power m this equals to c by p plus 1 factorial f to the power p plus 1 zeta here where zeta should be lies between 0 and 1. And if we want to find this bound for this error term here we can just find this absolute error term here this should be less or equal to absolute values of c by p plus 1 factorial and then immediate next term we can just find this into maximum of f to the power p plus 1 x for x lies between a to b here. This is completely defines the bound for the error term we can just define that one. So, then we will just go for this uh, integral methods based on uniform mass spacing. Suppose you will have this tabular points like x0, x1 to xn here and all points are equispaced. Then how we can just uh, evaluate this error using quadrature formula that we will just uh, discuss. So, if you will just go for this uh, um, uniform uh, mass spacing here for a prescribed uh, data set points like x0 equals to a and x n equals to b suppose. Then we can just define your space size that is h equals to b minus a by n if we can just define these tabular values that is in the form of like x 0 this equals to a is less than x 1 less than x 2 of 2 less than x n equals to b and all these points are equispaced suppose x0 then x1 then x2 
of to x n here. So all are equispaced here. Then we can just write this integration i equals to integration a to b f of x dx this equals to summation k equals to 0 to n lambda k f of x k here. Usually we can just write this one as lambda 0 f of x 0 lambda 1 f of x 0 plus h lambda 2 f of x 0 plus 2 h up to lambda n f of x 0 plus n h here. And this expression is especially called uh, Newton Coates quadrature formula and uh, lambda n's are called uh, Coates number here. Coates number and this formula is called uh, Newton Coates quadrature formula. So first we will just go for a trapezoidal rule here. Suppose we will have a curve here and it has uh, this uh, ordinates like uh, a f of a here and uh, b f of b here. So suppose these points are like p q here. So if we want to find this area or this integration from a to b range with this function bounded by this uh, curve y equals to f of x here then we can just uh, estimate this area by a trapezoid or a trapezoid then we can just evaluate this integration in a complete form here. Suppose this curve y equals to f of x is uh, given to us and uh, it is asked to find this integration within this range a to b suppose and uh, this can be approximated by joining this line like p to q here in the curve and if you will just use Newton's forward difference formula for a linear interpolating polynomial passing through these points like a f of a and b f of b here, then since uh, we are just approximating this uh, curved region by a straight line there, so that is why we can just approximate by a linear interpolating polynomial there. So if you will just interpolate this linear interpolating polynomial for this curve here, then we can just write this formula as f of x equals to f of x 0 plus p delta of f of x 0 here. Since it is a linear interpolating polynomial after that we can just get the 0 values. So that is why we can just write these terms up to this series here. And here in terms of x if you just express this expansion here. So this can be written as f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 by h delta of f of x 0 where we can just write x0 equals to a here and x1 equals to b here and your space size that is h can be defined as h equals to b minus a here. And uh, then if you will just go for this integration of uh, this function here over this range a to b, the integration from a to b i can be written as integration a to b f of x dx here and this can be written as integration a to b f of x 0 dx plus integration a to b p in terms of uh, x if you just write this one. So it can be written as x minus x 0 by h delta f of x 0 dx here. And if you just replace this one in terms of x0 and x1 here, so this can be written as x0 to x1 f of x0 dx plus x0 to x1 x minus x0 by h f of x1 minus f of x0 d of x here. And if you just integrate this one, this can be written as uh, like f of x0 and x1 minus x0 plus this can be written as f of x1 minus f of x0 by h and uh, next one it can be written as x minus x0 whole square by 2 
x0 to x1 and if you just uh, put here x1 minus x0 equals to h this can be written as h f of x0 plus f of x1 minus f of x0 by h into h square by 2. And finally, if you just write this can be written in the form of like h by 2 f of x0 plus f of x1 here and that it can be represented also in the form of like h by 2 f of a plus f of b. If you will just replace here also h in terms of uh, b and a this can be written as b minus a by 2 into f of a plus f of b here. So, this is basically called a two point quadrature formula. If you will just uh, consider this linear interpolating polynomial which is interpolating this curve y equals to f of x in a particular region, then we can just evaluate this integration here. So, next if you will just go for uh, uh, this uh, geometrical interpretation that is uh, we can just express this one that the area of the trapezium if you will just see here with width b minus a and ordinates f of b and f of a which is an approximate or which is an approximation to the area under the curve y equals to f of x above the x axis and the ordinates x equals to a and b this is nothing but representing the area that is b minus a by 2 f of a plus f of b. So, if we can just go for the geometrical calculation of this area here, we can just say that we will have these two regions here that is a rectangular region if you will just see this one and this is a triangular region here also. So, if you will just uh, calculate the area for this uh, rectangle here and the area of this uh, triangle in that region, then also we can just uh, get this total area under this two sections R s b minus a by 2 into f of a plus f of b here. So, if you will just see here geometrically, if you just calculate this area, then the area bounded by this lines x equals to a, x equals to b, y equals to 0 and uh, p q line that is area of the rectangle a p r v if you will just see plus area of the triangle p q r. So, this is nothing but first uh, this is a total area of this rectangle we can just write b minus a into this uh, height is f of a here. So, that is a b minus a into f of a plus your triangular area that is a half h into like a b minus a. So, usually we are just writing that is half into b minus a into f of b minus f of a here. So, finally, we can just get it as b minus a by 2 into f of a plus f of b here. So, if you just go for this error at estimation for this trapezoidal rule. So, we can just verify that this error is r f of f x equals to 0 for f x equals to 1 and x. If already I have discussed that one an uh, integration method is said to be of order p. If you, p is the largest positive real number for which the less numbers existing there that means 0, 1, 2 up to p all will give us the 0 values there for the error term. So, then we can just express here for suppose f of x equals to 1 if you just consider. Then we can just express this one a to b f of x dx minus our formula that is expressed as minus b minus a by 2 f of a plus f of b. What the value it is just providing that is nothing but the error function here. So, if you just see here that is a r of f of x here which can be written as like x0 to x1 <coughs> or a to b whatever you want you can just uh, write there. So, that is if you will just write a to b 1 into dx minus b minus a by 2 since f of a is 1 here f of b is 1 here then we can just express this one as b minus a minus b minus a by 2 into 2 here. So, this is just giving you 0 here. Similarly, if you will just go for f of x equals to x here, then also we can just express a to b x dx minus 
b minus a by 2 and f of x equals to a x here. So, f of a equals to a here and f of b is equal to b here. So, then if you will just evaluate this one for r of f x here, this implies that this can be written in the form of x square by 2 minus this is a a plus b into b minus a here. So, b square minus a square by 2, this range is a, a to b here, this is nothing but r of f x here, which can be written as 0 also for r of f x here. So, if you will just consider like a f of x equals to x square, then we can just obtain the value for c here. This means that for f of x equals to x square, since we have considered this polynomial of uh, degree 1 here or we are just approximating this function with a polynomial of degree 1 here, then we can just get this exact 0 values or this polynomial just providing us also a polynomial of degree 1, which is exact or error term is 0 for this polynomial of degree 1 here. So, that is why immediate to the next term, if you will just consider this polynomial that as in the form of x equals to x square here or f of x equals to x square here, then we can just get this error term here. If you will just put x, f of x equals to x square here, c can be written as integration a to b. So, first function that is x square dx minus summation or you can just use this uh, for formula for this uh, trapezoidal rule here that can be written also as b minus a by 2 and uh, f of x is a x square here. So, we can just write a square plus b square here. If you will just uh, solve this uh, uh, equations here that is a uh, x is q by 3 it will just come. So, we can just write b q by 3 minus a q by 3 first one or if you will just uh, put these values all of these values here that is in the form of uh, like uh, x to the power 3 by 3 here, then put all these ranges here, then you can just obtain the c value as minus of 1 by 6 b minus a whole q here. And uh, if you will just put the c value in the error term here, so usually they say r of f of x for this one it can be written as c by p plus 1 factorial f to the power p plus 1 zeta. So, p is especially 1 here. So, that is why we can just write that one as minus 1 by 6 b minus a whole q 1 by 2 here f to the power double dash of zeta, which can just uh, give you here minus of, if you will just see here, minus of b minus a whole q by 12 f double dash of zeta, where zeta should be lies between a and b. And if you will just go for this maximum bound of this error, this can be written as r of f of x in magnitude form this would be less or equal to b minus a whole q by 12 maximum of uh, f double dash of x. And uh, from this formula we can just visualize that if the length is larger suppose, then we can just uh, obtain this b minus a difference is also large. And in that case this method becomes meaningless. If the like uh, the section is very small then we will have a good result. So, then if you will just go for an example of a trapezoidal rule here. So, if the question is asked suppose find the value of integration 0 to 1 x by 1 plus x dx, we have just considered a simple example here taking h equals to 1 using trapezoidal rule, then how we can just implement this formula that I will just discuss. Also, we can just find this exact value of this integral since it is a simple function I have just considered, we can easily get this exact value and then we can just obtain the error by taking this uh, approximated value calculated by using trapezoidal rule and exact value calculating in numerical form or analytical form.
suppose this integration is asked to 0 to 1 x by 1 plus x dx here and uh, the space size that is given as uh, I think 1 here. So, using trapezoid rule uh, solve this uh, integral equation here. If you will just see here, so a equals to 0 here, b equals to 1, f of x equals to x by 1 plus x and the space size is equals to 1 means n equals to 1 here. Usually we are just defining h equals to b minus a by n here. So, that is why h is given as 1, so 1 minus 0 by h here. So, that is why we can just consider sorry n, so n equals to 1 here. So, we can just use trapezoid rule uh, by considering all this uh, values whatever it has just given to us. So, if you will just use so then we can just write integration 0 to 1 x by 1 plus x into dx using trapezoid rule this can be b minus a by 2 1 minus 0 by 2 f of a that is uh, if you if I will just put here 0 that will especially give you 0 value here plus 1 by 2 here. And this can be written as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 here or especially we can just write this one as a 0 0.25. And if you will just go for this analytical solution here I can just write this one as 0 to 1, 1 minus uh, I think 1 by 1 plus x here into dx and this can be written as uh, like uh, x minus uh, ln of 1 plus x. 0 to 1 range here. So, it can be written as uh, like uh, uh, 1 minus uh, uh, log of uh, 2 or ln 2 I can just say and this value is just giving you like uh, 0 0.6990 here. And if you just calculate this uh, difference so then we can just find this uh, error that is a 0 0.6990 minus 0 0.25 the error is coming as a 0 0.4490 here. Since we are just taking a size is larger here that is why this error is very high. So, then we will just go for composite trapezoid rule. So, in each of this interval we can just uh, form a trapezoid and then we can just approximate this integration in each of these ranges there that is basically called the composite trapezoid rule here. So, graphically you can just see that uh, in each of the sections so, uh, a trapezium is uh, formed there and uh, area of this uh, trapezium is approximated in each of this uh, intervals and then we can just combine each of these intervals and then in a composite form we can just obtain a composite formula. So, if you just uh, consider this uh, space sizes are all are equal here this means that if you just start from x0, x1 to xn here. So, if you just use this one this formula like a to b f of x dx here then we can just write this one as uh, x0 to x1, x1 to x2 up to xn minus 1 to xn f of x dx here. And in each of the intervals if you will just write this uh, formula here then we can just uh, rewrite this formulation as. So, first interval we can just write h by 2 f of x 0 plus f of x 1 here. Second interval we can just write h by 2 f of x 1 plus f of x 2. Third interval we can just write h by 2 f of x 2 plus f of x 3 plus the last interval if you will just uh, write here f of x n minus 1 plus f of x n here. So, if you will just add off all these terms here we can just write this one as h by 2 f of x 0 plus f of x n plus 2 into f of x 1 to f of x n minus 1. This is basically called a composite trapezoidal formula here. So, with this I am just completing this lecture uh, next lecture I will just go for this error computation of a trapezoidal rule. Thank you for the listening the lecture.